Hey, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and um, I'm having uh, some fun with some slow scan television. Uh, decoding here some slow scan TV on uh, 27700. Uh, just got a, a part of a picture because the uh, the uh, lo the software was not in automatic mode, so it didn't start. I had to start it automatically, but uh, the next picture should be okay. Kind of nice to see. Uh, of course, uh, 27700, one of the uh, uh, interesting frequencies for all sorts of pictures showing up, uh, mostly from out-of-band CB ears and so on. Um, if you want to have probably what is the most active frequency for slow scan television, uh, 14230. As you see, there is one right now. So 14230 is definitely one of the active frequencies. So we just got the end tail of this one. But if you keep on 14230, usually you uh, have quite a lot of these, um, these pictures being sent out from different amateur radio operators. You might even see me. Who knows? I've been uh, sending and receiving a lot of it, uh, making SSTV contacts. It's kind of fun. Uh, there are other frequencies in the uh, amateur band, but 14 to 30 probably is the most active. So if you want to do some slow scan like this, uh, this one is very weak, so it's kind of not really good in the decode. We'll see if there's something else popping up. I'm using MMSSTV in Windows, which is the one that I always use and kind of like. And uh, there are different apps in Android and in iOS also. If you have an iPad, an iPhone, an Android uh, tablet or phone, uh, different apps that do SSTV, just search for SSTV and uh, you'll see some results. One that I use on Android, Robot36. Um, the only thing that you got to make sure is when you actually uh, decode your um, bandwidth needs to be at least 3 kilohertz for the uh, full audio capability that you would have off of uh, the, uh, the slow scan because it's audio tones that actually create the pictures that you see. Also, the software often has what we have as um, auto save, which means that all the uh, pictures are saved. So you can actually leave, leave it on for a full day and see all the pictures you received in, in one day. These are a little noisy, but it's kind of cool still to receive some of those pictures. Uh, here I'm using a uh, a laptop, the Toshiba laptop, which is the one that is only used for um, controlling my uh, Yesu FTDX10. So it's sending to VE3 station, so it's uh, a ON station, a Belgium station, uh, sending out to uh, a station in Ontario, making contact. And of course, some of them are clean when you get some really strong signals. You often will get a uh, really good decode of the pictures. This, of course, is the answer back. So check it out, and uh, especially uh, for the unusual ones, you can check out 27700 and just leave the software there, and eventually you'll hear something. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.